Hey there. So there is somebody next to me this morning, which is out of the ordinary. It is Emily Wernis. Hi, Emily. Hi. We're trying to do our best to be socially distant, even on the camera here. So Emily, in case you don't know her, she's been a part of our church for many years now. She has uh, played an active role in our leadership team. She has led our city teens ministry for years up until this past year. Uh, so she's been involved in a lot of different ways. So if you've been a part of our church for any time at all, you probably met Emily. In fact, just a few weeks ago, she did kind of a testimony for us during our service. So welcome, Emily, to our office for the service this morning. Uh, we would like to introduce her to you and give Emily a chance to fill us in on what's going on in her life right now. So, Emily... What have you been up to recently? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Bruce, yes. um, because I recently got back from overseas. Well, this was actually a couple months ago. Okay. So I was doing, I left in October to attend a Youth with a Mission Discipleship Training School. And so YWAM is a global missions organization. And I explained this a bit in my testimony we did online, but a DTS is this intensive time for believers who are interested in missions and in just growing in their relationship with Christ mm -hmm. to spend some focused time doing that for six months. Okay. So you spend time in a lecture phase where they teach on different topics every week for about three months, and then they send you out to a different international location to put those things into practice and actually go spread the gospel in a country um, for a couple months. And so for us, that was in Cyprus. So that's what I just finished. All right. So you've been doing a lot of different things, and you've been in different places, uh, all the way back even to being a part of Lakota Journey and going to uh, the Rosebud Reservation. So some people know that, and some people also know that our church is involved with Pastor Paul and his church and mission. So you were part of that too, yeah. if we go way back. So you've done a lot of things, been a lot of places, and a lot of people are wondering, okay, how does that all come together? Uh, how is God at work in all those different experiences, kind of connecting the dots for you and in your life? Can you kind of pull that together for us? Yeah. All right. Yeah, for sure. Um, and so basically all of these different things that I've done, I'd say in the past decade, have all been building blocks and ways God has been preparing, refining, and equipping me, first of all, working on my own heart, and then opening up my eyes to what he's doing in a bigger picture. So the easiest way I can put it all together is to relate it to our Acts 1-8 mission strategy um, that City on a Hill here believes in, right? You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So I see how our church has been adopting that, and then I see it at work in my own life. So from my own Jerusalem, right here working with city teens, um, building what it looks like to be discipled and become a discipler, what intentional community looks like through um, just the jobs I've held in the business world and relationships with my coworkers that I still have and seeing that as such an opportunity and what it means to have hard conversations with people who don't believe the things that you do. Um, and even to most recently, the job I held before YWAM was working with Fellowship of Christian Athletes for almost two and a half years. And so all of the staff there fully 100% raised their own support, but I was working in an administrative communications capacity so that I could just watch and support them as they were doing that hard thing. And I'm sitting back going, nope, I don't ever want to do that, you know? So all of those things right here in my own backyard in Rosemount, the Lord has been putting those pieces together. And then to mention the, the res, oh my goodness, what a foundational place like that has in my heart for my own Judea and Samaria, right? And just from Lakota Journey Weeks and building leadership skills through that from just being attending and helping with kids club to then eventually leading, eventually interning for one summer, coming back another summer to be the intern director. You know, those leadership and character development pieces were crucial. And then especially as well, going to work at a Christian family guest ranch after college in Colorado, um, just where God really, in serving people, his voice became so much sweeter and more personal, and he used that as well. And then, I mean, I've been blessed to be physically able to go to different parts of the ends of the earth and be an extension of our church. I did the world race. If Those of you who don't know what that is, it's 
an 11 month missions trip to 11 different countries and City on a Hill sent me. And then now through YWAM seeing that, all of those pieces together, just seeing how God has been lighting a fire and stoking these coals of just this passion I have to see the advancement of the gospel of Jesus. And just to see in each of those spheres, in each of those circles, I just want to see people meet Jesus. And I want to watch as he changes them. I want to be alongside helping him when I can, because I know what he can do. I've seen him do it in all of these places right here on the res, Colorado, and across the world. And I just have a passion to see that continue. And so that's how I've sort of seen it start to all build to that. And now that he's brought me to a place where I'm fully surrendered to what it is he's asking of me and breaking down what I thought was possible and replacing it with what he's like, well, this is possible. And that's the impossible through me. So So it sounds like kind of a process of God refining through those experiences, continuing to change things in your heart and your mind and, and what your vision for ministry is. So that brings us to this point now. Mm -hmm. What do you see as the next step that God has for you to move into? The next step is to dive into full-time ministry (laughs) and missions work. And specifically, I'm doing that through Youth with a Mission, YWAM Denver. Mm -hmm. So basically, I want to join full-time staff, and I feel led to do that. So there's three steps. First step, I've already completed a discipleship training school in Scotland, so that's done. And now in order to join staff through the base I'm looking at, they require a summer mission, like training leadership program. And I have been accepted to the one starting in June. So it's June 22nd through September 11th. And so it's during that they focus on leadership, character development, as well as specific fundraising budget type questions that they answer. You fill out the paperwork to join staff in those things, as well as some on the job training for that base. And so then the third step is I'd come home to Minnesota in the fall and devote myself to full-time fundraising um, and hope to be fully funded in three months' time to go start my staff work full-time over there. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And I'm excited for you. And I can sense, I think after this Sunday, we'll have a growing uh, excitement as a church for you and to be able to be a part of what God is doing in your life and through you. Uh, we look forward to that. So I'm sure there'll be an opportunity. You've only got a couple weeks, right? Less than two weeks. Less than two weeks at this point before you leave. Uh, but there's still opportunities, right, to get a hold of you? Yes. Yeah, so uh, that can be done through, through us, through the church, or if you already know Emily and know her number, then you can contact her directly because I'm sure she'd like to talk to more people, right? Okay. Uh, and share what's going on and make more connections with our church. Uh, So we're excited to hear about this. Uh, Why don't we pause and pray, and then we'll continue with uh, with the service. Lord, we're grateful for how you have chosen Emily and set her apart. Uh, and are working through her, refining her, uh, perfecting her, bringing about a new vision for ministry. It is exciting stuff to hear. Lord, we ask for your blessing uh, now. Provide for her needs. Go with her this summer. Make this a rich time, a full time uh, to, to learn and to grow and to continue on uh, preparing for this next uh, chapter, ministry chapter in her life. We're grateful for the role that she's played in City on a Hill. And now we ask, Lord, that your will be done as you prepare her for all that you have in store for her. Thank you, Lord, for her. Uh, Move her forward uh, powerfully uh, in in your grace and uh, in your strength. In Jesus' name, amen.